What does that say? What do you fellas think that says? I can't read, I'm seriously asking. But, but I've been told that that says video games in the past, so, um, I think that is some indication of what we're gonna do tonight. Welcome. I'm 90% sure nobody's here yet, but that's okay. That's okay. We're mainly doing, like, exposition things here toward the beginning. So, depending on who you are, that's either, like, the perfect opportunity to miss parts of the stream or the worst. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, I, I think the TV's too loud. I, I keep doing this. I've been, uh, playing Sonic Colors alongside this, uh, off-stream, so whenever I play something on the TV, I turn the volume up, but during streams, I have to have it down so the mic doesn't pick up the things, so I keep forgetting to turn the, turn the TV back down, which is a slight tad bit of a problem. Anyway, we're gonna play more Skyward Sword today. Um, if you'll remember, last time, uh, we finished Skyview Temple out at, uh, Farron Woods. And, uh, we did a couple, like, little minor things here in, um, Skyloft. Namely, buying a new shield, which I'm realizing I should have, uh, should have turned in at the item check. I just completely forgot about- Yeah, I got a Blessed Butterfly, thank you. Thank you! This is a new play session. <laughs> Fuck this game. Uh, anyway. Um... I should have turned that in at the item check, but I think I'll do that as part of a side quest we're doing later. Uh, this is not working out. They're running away. I don't really care that much, so that's fine. Anyway, our first order of business is a uh, main quest thing. I need to head up to the statue of the goddess and turn in the ruby tablet that we just picked up. Jesus Christ, Link. Let me know how audio is, as usual. No one's here to let me know, but, you know, it's fine. Shh, shh, shh. So, yeah, we're on the way to the Statue of the Goddess. Gotta turn in the ruby tablet, because we have to, uh... Bust through the cloud barrier to get to the Elden Province, according to Fi. I've done a lot better with her name than I expected to. I've said this over and over, I've always called her Fi. Which is wrong, and I know it's wrong. So, uh... Something I need to work on. Anyway, we're here. Not a super grandiose thing. There you go. Part two of the tablet. Bing! Master, I have confirmed the location of a second opening in the Cloud Barrier. It is located in the skies to the northeast. This opening will allow you to access a new area on the surface. I suggest you fly there as soon as you complete necessary preparations. Yeah, well, necessary preparations includes doing busy work for a bunch of people. So, now that we've done that, a bunch of side quests have opened up to us. The, uh, turning in the ruby tablet is the trigger for a bunch of side quests. Um, not getting back to Skyloft after doing Skyview Temple, turning in the tablet. Um, and there's number one. Hey. Oh. Kukil, Kukil, where could that child have gone? Oh, Kukil, where did you go? What will I do if she's been kidnapped? Oh, oh Quincy! I've never seen you in my life. What perfect timing! You haven't seen my Kukil, have you? Uh, I did before departing. Kuki who? Kukiel? I... I see. Please, Quincy, won't you help me look for her? I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find her. I've asked everyone I could find for help, and a few people have said she's been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. And they did nothing about it. Someone else even said they thought they'd seen her carried off by a monster. A monster! 
She must have been kidnapped. She's so cute and friendly. Someone must have just walked off with her. Find Kukiel, please, please. It breaks my heart to think she's somewhere out there crying. Please, Quincy, no. You got it. Thank you. The Night Academy should be proud to have a student like you. Please, find my daughter quickly. Hey. Scary face. Sweet Kukiel, please, find my daughter before anything bad happens to her. If something happened, I just... I don't know what I would do. Alright. So, scary face. That's all we know. I know where to go, but I'm... I, I, I assume you have to, like, ask for clues first. Hey, Fledge, they kind of just put you in my way after that, so I assume you have something to say. Oh, Quincy, how's it going? Any luck tracking down Zelda? I see. Well, we're all pulling for you. By the way, I saw Kukil's mother heading up toward the temple a little while ago. She looked pretty upset. You don't suppose something happened, do you? Huh? Kukil's gone missing? We've got to do something. I'll start looking, too. Ask around and see if you can find somebody who's seen her, Quincy. Okay, um, Pippet is my first guess. Just something about that boy. He's He knows all the stuff. He's a bird researcher, you know. And he's right in my way. They're kind of routing me through this, I'm pretty sure. I'm afraid I've got some problems, too. But, you know, I try to put on a brave face in front of other people. If you do that, the unhappiness rolls off like water on a loftwing's back. I always try to keep that in mind. Nothing? Okay. <laughs> I've got problems, too. Let me, um... Pull up my notes. I know where one- where, where two of the quests are, but there are three things we've got to do. Okay, and we have to do this quest to trigger the others. Yeah, that's right. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta maneuver some things on my setup here. Sorry about that. Okay. Kukil. Um. Think anyone in the academy is gonna know, or do you think I'm gonna have to walk around outside? Hey. Man, when Goose gets sad, he's downright miserable. He's always in his room sulking. And okay, I've already, already heard this. Some people changed position after the tablet, but, uh, Colin there didn't. Colin Fastboy, last name. Not my best work, <laughs> I'll say that much. How goes your search for Zelda? Remember to find a bed and sleep. Which of you have actual info for me about the quest I was just given? Also, I'm broke. I feel like that's important to note, is that, uh, I went broke last stream buying things. How about you? You look pale. <laughs> Do I? It's Kukil. What? Kukil is missing? She was abducted by a monster? You don't think this has anything to do with all those silly stories about a horrifying monster that's been living here in Skyloft for ages, do you? People say the creature appears in the dead of night, scaring folks and even taking away children. Probably nothing more than a scary story some older brother made up to terrorize his younger siblings, but still, it makes me wonder. Okay, so, night. And we are, we've already heard about this monster from uh, the old man. The old man up at the Lumpy Pumpkin. The one who sounds like this in my head, apparently. Uh. Haven't I moved this before? Does this reset? Because if so, that's mildly annoying and defeats the purpose of that being there. Not that Skyloft is the biggest place on the planet. Anyway, uh, pretty sure they intend this quest to be your introduction to the nighttime world. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go sleep in my bed. I think that makes some sense. There's nothing else I can think of to do, at least not uh, anything that I'm not consciously postponing to later. The only thing I can think of before that I can do before this quest that I want to do is uh, switch out, is check in my shield at the item check. But I don't have any reason to do that later. I'll be at the bazaar later. 
Call on and stretch. I mean, I can sleep in their beds, but I'd rather do it. <laughs> I'd rather sleep in mine. I, I feel like you can relate. Sometimes there's a blue rupee, sometimes there isn't. So sleeping until morning just heals you. That's the purpose that serves. Uh, sleeping until night will also heal you. But it introduces you to the nighttime world. A poorly implemented ver thing in this game. A po poorly implemented mechanic. Feels like an afterthought. The nighttime world like they just shoved a bunch of side quests there um that are disconnected from the rest of the world and that's like the only reason it exists uh time doesn't pass naturally you have to sleep in a bed oh that's locked forgot about that you you have to go upstairs No, why am I going into the headmaster's room? Well, I'm not, it's locked. Um, I'm also pretty sure you can't fly at night. So even though the nighttime quests, spoiler alert, are spread across multiple islands, some of them are, um, pretty sure. Um, you can't jump from island to island because you're told it's like not safe to fly at night or the loft wings don't, can't navigate at night or something like that. At, th at least I'm pretty sure. Most of the world is shut down at night. It, the, the, real, the, the real thing is like, the in-game explanation is, oh, there's monsters that come out at night. Uh, so everything's shut down. No one's doing anything at night. Businesses are all closed because they keep usual business hours. And as a result, since they didn't fill it with anything else, the nighttime world just feels empty. Which I guess is intentional. But still kind of sucks nonetheless. Yeah, run away. Of course, I don't know where I'm going. I just know there's a monster out at night. I mean, I personally know where I'm going, but I don't think... Well, I have vague memory. Oh, that only did one, one heart of damage. That's unusual. Everything has dealt quite a bit up to this point. I have a vague idea of where I'm going, but I don't, um... Oh, that's right. No, I don't know where I'm going. I'm pretty sure it wants me to go to the Lumpy Pumpkin, and, and now that I believe in the monster and am looking for a little girl, it wants me to head over there and ask the old man what's happening. So I have to go sleep again. L well, let me try flying at night. Let me just see. Pretty sure you can't. Pretty sure you can't or I'd have memories of flying at night in the nighttime sky. Yeah, no, Loftwing doesn't come out. I, I was heading down to whistle. Hello. Well there, trainee, you'll never be promoted to full knighthood if you can't learn to keep your wits about you. Oh, and don't let me catch you going out flying at night. Only trained knights such as myself should be doing that. You take care now. Hey. Fuck that. That's, that's annoying. I don't like that. Um. Really am not super pleased with the fact that I have to go to a bed. Sleep until morning. Fly to the Lumpy Pumpkin. Talk to one person. Fly back to fly back to Skyloft. Sleep again. Um. All to find this one thing that I do know the location of. There's just something specific you have to do as well. Oh, and the door's locked. I'm not going to be able to go in this way. Why? Why is that a necessary restriction? Hey, Quincy, it's dangerous out at night, so be careful. This area is my patrol route. At night, monsters get really active around here. It's the duty of a knight to protect the public from any danger. 
Duty or job? Oh. Quincy, first shame. Why did you decide to become a knight anyway? For the money? How could you be swayed by the temptation of material gain? Do you have no honor? That's the Pippet way. More than money. I love seeing people happy and safe. That's what being a knight is all about. Wow, imagine having morals and principles that you stick to. That's kind of cringe, bro. Oh, god damn it. The, the loading screens are just long enough that I can take a drink. Oh, Zelda's room's locked. Can I sleep in Instructor Orwell's room? Hey, buddy. Hmm. I keep my distance from Mia at night. It was that one time when she snuck into the academy after nightfall. I recommend that you be extra careful when you go out at night. Oh, dear. That caused quite the commotion. I'm gonna sleep in your bed. Because I'm allowed to do that. I almost accidentally hit until night. That would have been frustrating. <laughs> to say the least. <coughs> he had no qualms with this. He's just... <laughs> Quincy does this regularly. Hi, Pippet. Hello. <laughs> 26 minutes in and I haven't even done like the first quest We're never getting to Elden on this stream Okay, gotta find a dock to jump out off of oh here's one Isn't that convenient? I Sure do live for that convenience Fi's gonna tell me go to Elden Okay, I guess not. Lumpy Pumpkin is over there. They apparently still have a beacon out. That beacon's pitiful. <laughs> Take after this green one. I like how they how it controls, and I like the idea of it. But I do agree uh, that the uh, that the Loftwing navigation can get kind of monotonous. And you're not going to a new place, you're just like going back and forth between Skyloft and this place, for example. Anyway, let's hop in. Hey, I've got a quest marker. You have that gullible look that says you might take an old man's rambling seriously. Thanks. <laughs> I've always loved that line. So tell me, do you believe in the Skyloft monster? I shouldn't even call it a monster. It's a demon, I tell you. But no one can say for sure because no one's seen it and lived to tell the tale. Well, huh? You want to know how come I'm telling the tale if no one who's seen it is left alive? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, well, I saw it, but I was able to escape by the seat of my pants. I was saved by my cat-like reflexes, I tell you. Any regular person wouldn't have lived long enough to scream. Anyway, I saw the thing, I tell you. There's a great big tree in the cemetery. I walked by that tree in the middle of the night and... I saw it hit the gravestone nearest to the tree, and the gravestone lit up. It pushed the gravestone, and the door to the storage shed opened all by itself. The monster then went into the shed, and then... It closed the door behind itself, which was unexpectedly polite for a demon. It was the most terrifying thing these old eyes have ever seen. If you're smart, you'll stay clear of the cemetery in the middle of the night. Okay, I'm gonna go report to this boy that I delivered the soup the last stream. Ah, I see you've delivered the soup to Aegis. I'll subtract your pay from the bill for the chandelier. But you're not done yet. I'm already scheming about what I need you to do next. I'm gonna need some time to think about this, though, so come back and see me later. 
And by later, I'm 99% sure he just means after the next dungeon. <laughs> Okay, so hit the gravestone nearest the tree and then push it. I wonder if that, if you like actively like need that info, like you have to have spoken to him first to act as a trigger or if you can just do that. You can probably just do that, but I don't know. This is the most linear Zelda game by far, so. Hey, Yellow Pikachu, how you doing? Welcome. We are currently um, doing some side quests in Skyloft before uh, departing for the Elden Province. So right now, I'm on my way to my bed so I can sleep at night. Um, we're looking for the for the secret Skyloft demon that haunts the the grounds at night. I'm gonna go sleep in um, one of the upstairs beds. Not my bed. I don't wanna have to walk up the stairs in the middle of the night. That's more, that's scarier than the demon, you see. I tr no, Zelda's room's locked. Can't go in there. Instructor Horwell is my go-to, apparently. Alright. I am curious how long it's going to take for me to get to Elden, and if I'm going to be able to progress far enough to, uh, finish the dungeon on tonight's stream. Because, uh, last stream, I just went straight to Farron. There were no dungeons bef- no dungeons, no side quests before it, and so I did all of Farron Woods last stream. Uh, Elden, yeah, I think is slightly more involved on your first visit than Farron was, as it should be. Since it's the second dungeon. Um. Oh god. Um. What was I saying? Pretty sure Elden is slightly more involved than Farron and therefore longer. If I remember correctly. But also, I'm spending a lot more time just, like, doing side quests. Uh, than I did. Last time. Because last time the amount of time I spent doing side quests was none. At all. That's a bat following me. That's a cat following me. I'm just trying to get to the graveyard to do non-creepy things at the cemetery in the middle of the night. Why can't I find it? This way? No. Straight ahead. There we are. Okay, gravestone nearest the tree. Hit it with my sword. Make the demonic horns appear go in swords swords of flame and save the child from from certain terror no one knows this house exists Eek! ow Oh, the explanation for this is funny. Hi. <laughs> this little, like, beard thing. I forgot about that. It's my buddy, Dracula. really not vampire-esque at all, but... Stop! Please, I beg of you, don't hurt me! Oh, goodness, I know how bad this must look to you right now, but I assure you I mean no harm. We were just playing the scream as loud as you can game! Uh -huh. Isn't that a fun game? Oh, dear. Uh, perhaps an explanation is in order. My name is Batro, and I am a monster who resides here in this humble dwelling below Skyloft. But please, allow me to correct one popular misconception. Well, I'm certainly a monster. I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. 
You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood-curdling scream at the sight of me. Since she began to visit me here, I felt just positively jubilant. You see, my friend, my heart's only wish is to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. But as you can surely imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break the ice when they are struck with paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with joy more than to be friends with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I try to approach any of them and extend my claw in friendship, claw, they run and scream as though they've seen a walking nightmare. No, oh, right. Silly me, I've gotten ahead of myself. You see, there is an old tale among my monstrous kin that goes as follows. Uh -huh. It seems that when humans make other humans happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as a gratitude crystal. Gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Just looking at them and knowing there was such gratitude in the world could turn me from a monster into a human. Because that... That's how gratitude crystals work. Oh, goodness, nothing would delight me more than to become a human. Are those your eyes or eyebrows? They look like brows. Those are brows, right? Please tell me those are brows. From the moment I laid up my regrettably demonic eyes on you, I could tell you had a gener gentle and generous heart. Won't you please gather gratitude crystals and show them to me? Yeah, those are his eyes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Truly? You'll help me? I've heard that you can obtain pure gratitude crystals by helping people solve their troubles. <laughs> they could also be merely lying about here in Skyloft or anywhere else. Or elsewhere among the clouds. Anywhere you find people. I'm sure someone with a heart as pure and genuine as yours will be able to see them. Please solve some troubles and gather me all the gratitude crystals you can find. Any help you can provide will be dearly appreciated. I promise your assistance will not go unrewarded. What do you have to say, Kukil? He's not a bad man. He saved me one time when I almost fell over the edge. And he lets me come here and scream as loud as I want! Anyway, he said it was dangerous to go out alone at night, so I'll just hang out here for a while. Tell my mom I'll come home in the morning. Okay. Hi, Metro. Uh that dear girl should be back home safe and sound by tomorrow morning. Give her parents my warmest regards when you see them. Oh, and good luck gathering the gratitude crystals I require. To start, please bring me five if you can. That would be so splendid. If you do a great kindness for someone, you may even find several at once. Well, I imagine then uh, Kukil's mother will be a little happy. A little bit, I hope. So that's your main incentive to do side quests in this game. Whereas in Majora's Mask, your main incentive is almost always uh, pieces of heart. Uh, this game has nowhere near as many pieces of heart. Um, just by virtue of starting you with six heart containers and having way more dungeons than Majora's Mask. Um, I think there are 24 pieces of heart to uh, Majora's Mask's 52. Um, so here, your incentive to do side quests is to get gratitude crystals, which uh, will then get you uh more rewards he he said bring me five did he mean like he'll give me something at five i mean that's the implication obviously nice dag beetle yeah i don't have any of those okay um so i imagine we should probably Go to sleep. And then go report to Kukil's mother. Who's probably still gonna be, like, outside the, uh... Oh my god, why do I keep getting caught by them? Probably still gonna be out by the statue of the goddess. I doubt they changed her location. I'm not gonna bother with that. <laughs> Bug catching is... Fun. Hi, Pippet. You're gonna give me a lecture about money again? <laughs> I don't like the bird researcher anymore. Instructor Horwell's room right here. 
It has now been three nights, I think, that I've slept here. So, since, um, since we haven't had a pure incentive yet to do side quests, and now we have those in the form of the gratitude crystals, uh, talking to Batro was, uh, the trigger for a bunch of other quests. So, now there will be people, like, out and about that, uh, we can talk to and do quests for them for gratitude crystals. Um, uh, according to my notes, there are two more that we can do before moving on. There are also gratitude crystals at night. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for all of those in one fell swoop toward the end. Because some of them don't show up until a certain point in the game. Wait, oh, no. She would, she, she's not here. Where is she? Okay, well, her house has a sign on it, so I imagine I can probably speak to them there. I think it has a sign on it. Or at least a marking on the map? Perhaps not? This isn't it, but I guess I'm gonna go through them one by one. Does this mark it on the map? I think it does. Petrus's house. Okay. Beatrice. Yeah, she's the item check girl. She is not here right now. Speaking of which, we do need to head back up there to check in my shield. Because I don't need to be carrying two shields on me. Also, I was going to fill up on potions before leaving. Because that's the smart thing to do in hero mode. But we don't have any rupees to spend on, on potions. Anyway, I'm pretty sure Kukil's like across town over here, across the bridge. Here maybe? Please? No. Hi. Who are you? Your house is filthy. Uh, ah, Quincy, welcome! How's my Pippet doing at school? Did you depend on him for the cleaning? Jesus Christ. Jesus fuck. You live like this? Well, as far as I can tell, there are not, in fact, signs next to the, next to the houses. Who are you? I love to collect antiques, you know? All the things you see in my house are very old and valuable. Make sure you don't break anything. They always do this. Every Zelda game. All of them. They put a thing in front of you and they're like, don't touch it. No! How could you? You broke my antique. That's it. You break it, you buy it. Let me see now. That was a very expensive antique, so 20 rupees. What's that look for? Oh, you think I'm just making that number up? That's ridiculous. I know the value of every item in my possession, and I intend to be compensated in full. Next time that happens, we're going to have words. Okay, that wasn't near as bad as I expected. <laughs> Granted, I'm broke, so that actually was pretty impactful. Okay, Kukil's house. Kukil's house. Where? Not there. Not here. Is it up here? Yeah, it marks all the houses. I was just making sure. Gear Peddler Rupin's house. Graveyard. Oh, did I just leave Rupin's house? Was that his... Wife? 
Mother? Probably wife. Old man. Hi. All that lug does is make one filthy mess after another. I swear he leaves a grease spot wherever he sits. I know he likes tinkering around with his oily doodads, but I'm drowning in dirty laundry here. Who's that lug? That's right, my greasy-fingered son who runs the scrap shop in the bazaar. He's up at unspeakable hours trying to repair that rusty pile of an old robot he inherited. What he intends to do with that scrap heap reject is beyond me. That what? What am I looking at? Where is it? Not here. Okay. I think he took it up to the shop. Also, I don't have a shield equipped? Yes. Okay, why, why, why didn't I? I think when I opened my inventory earlier to see if I had bottles or not, it uh, unequipped my shield. I thought this was one of the more obvious houses. Why can't I find this? Hmm. The girl who went missing has been found safe? I see. So she wasn't abducted after all. That's a relief to hear. Well, anyway, I guess that case is closed. Great work, valiant knight. I, I, I suppose that was supposed to be following up on me talking to her earlier, which I didn't do. Where am I walking toward? That's Pietrus's Pietrus's house. I'm. Why can't I find this? Have I been in here? No. This the one? My luck. This is gonna be where the. No. Okay. Good. I was gonna say my luck. This is gonna be where the fortune teller lives. Hi. Oh, Quincy. Kukiel is safely back at home, and it's all because of you. I don't know how to express my gratitude. I can finally smile and laugh again. Thank you ever so much. She gave me star bits. No one's made that joke before. Must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce this bunch of five crystals. Helping people feels good. And also gives me m material objects Hi. oh it's you Quincy uncle bats uncle bats told me he wants to see all the gratitude crackles he can but how's he gonna do that I'm getting to him the gratitude crackles he wants all the crackers in the store salt them up eat them with beans fuck is wrong with me <laughs> anyway i'm gonna head out to the item check i think um wait you're in a different spot hi what are you up to you have a quest i knew that <sighs> i wonder where she's gone Ugh, i'm so worried so worried C calm down what is it Ah, Quincy, you really want to hear all about my troubles? That's kind of you. So you see, a short while ago, my little sister went out for a quick flight, but she hasn't come home yet. It was getting late for her to still be out, so I went looking for her everywhere, but I couldn't find her. I just hope nothing has happened. I'm worried sick thinking about it. Hey, Quincy, would you mind helping me look for her? She said she was curious about that colorful island that appeared recently, so I suspect she's somewhere in the southwestern sky. The island just appeared. I'm counting on you, Quincy. Colorful island. I can't check the full sky map. Okay, I'll check that in a bit when I can. But first, item check. Item check. How many rupees do I have? 18. I don't even have enough for one potion, I don't think. Well, that sucks. That's uh, mildly annoying. 
Hey, welcome to the item check. Oh, it's you again. You've been coming by a lot recently. You're pretty much the only one who comes by regularly, actually. I, this is the second time I've been here. Hey, wait a second. I don't suppose... You don't come by here just to see me, do you? No. Oh, right. Well, of course, that wouldn't even make sense, right? Oh, it's no big deal that you don't. Not at all. Oh, I almost forgot. I still have a job to do. Do you have something for me to hold on to? Yeah. All right, let's see it. You take this shield. I don't need this shield. You have lots of pages of storage, which is nice. Like, you'll never use all of this. Nor will you need to. Oh, you can also sell things here, really. I forgot about that. Cool. Well, I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Thank you. Come again. Oh, hey. This is the item check. But I bet you're just here to check me out, right? Well, don't make a habit of it, okay? Anyway, you need to grab something or drop something off? No. What's with you? Leave me alone if you don't want anything. Sheesh, I'm busy staring at a wall. Oh, hey, this is the item check, but I bet you're here to just... <laughs> yes, I'm gonna drop something off. No, I'm not. Do you have more dialogue? Okay, no. No. Talk to her behind the counter. Um, okay. So, that's that. And now we go look for that boy's little sister? What's his name? If I can tell me. Skyloft is, uh, and I've said this before, Skyloft is very well realized as a hub world, I think. At least in terms of it, it, it of its, uh, like, character world building. Paro, that's right. Straightforward and honest young man, he exhibits remarkable skill at handling loftwings, even for a Skyloft resident. He and his younger sister, Oriel, are both known for their strong affinity for loftwings. Okay. Southwestern Sky, let's go! Let's go! One day we'll get to Elden. We're almost an hour into the stream. I've been streaming for about 40 minutes. Okay. This right here. I really don't like that my uh, remote keeps clattering. <laughs> clattering with itself. What is this? Oh, hi! Found you! Hello! Oh, it's you! I spoke to you like four minutes before I spoke to Pero, but okay. Hi, Oriel. <laughs> well, if it isn't Quincy, I'm so glad you're here. My bird got injured while I was out for a quick flight, and now we can't fly. Someone managed to make a crash landing here, but now we can't get home. I can't go home until my bird's better. I need medicine to get him healthy. Of course, it can't be human medicine. It has to be bird medicine. Hey, Quincy, I really need your help. Will you go get some bird medicine for me? Yes. I don't know what that entails. <laughs> Thank you. You're a real lifesaver. My older brother has some bird medicine. Just go find him and he'll give you what I need. I bet he's probably pacing around the plaza in Skyloft waiting for me to come home and being worried out of his mind. Huh? Really? You already spoke to him? I, I like how it expects you to, to like, just stumble upon her. Like, yeah, I, I'll notice on my map, oh, there's a colorful island there. That's not an outlandish thing to notice. Why am I... <laughs> I'll be waiting for you here with my bird. Hurry back. Okay. First, I want to see about this colorful island myself, to be honest, so... We'll check that first. I forgot, there is a- there is, like, actually a pretty decent amount that shows up between these dungeons. I expect it to be done here in, like, 30 minutes and then go. What is down there? Is that a goddess chest? 
Yes, okay. Crash into the ground. <laughs> Crash, also need bird medicine. Wait for random person to stop by. Hey, buddy. Yahooey! Yeah Step right up, boy! Oh, I bet you're wondering what I'm doing here! Yeah. Yeah. Not a little. A lot. Why is there a clown here? Just the answer I was looking for! What a smart little guy you are! I'm hoping to make this island a fun place where everyone can come and be happy! What's it called, you asked? Or even if you didn't ask, I call it Fun Fun Island! I'm still getting the place set up, so hopefully you'll visit again later. You might like what you find, especially if you like fun and colors. I'm already playing Sonic Colors right now. I got that, I got that filled. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, that was really funny. You should laugh at that. I made a comedy moment. Anyway, uh, I should switch the beacon to like there, I think. One of these. One of the islands in this little, little area. I mean, regardless, I'm gonna find it. Not exactly gonna be difficult. Still going in the direction of the colorful island. Okay, so this quest isn't, like, too interesting in and of itself. It's just kind of... Go to point... Go to point A, talk to person. Go to point B, talk to person. Go back to point A, talk to person. There. Go back to point B, talk to person. <laughs> I did forget that it that, that bird medicine was the requirement. Like, I expected to have to go buy a red potion and give it away. Which would suck, because if I buy a red potion, I want to keep it because I need it. But also, I don't think I have the money to buy a red potion. What? You found my sister? Her bird's injured and can't fly? That's terrible. In that case, take her this as quick as you can. These are mushroom spores. They will heal the bird's injury. Does that, does that, does that make sense? Spores from a giant mushroom are said to work wonders on injured birds. If she uses this, it'll click quickly heal the bird. She should then be able to make her own way home. Take it to my sister. You can keep the empty bottle once she's had a chance to use the stuff inside. I'm counting on you, Quincy. I forgot how quickly you get the bottles in this game. That will be bottle three of five. I guess you're... I guess they're, they're eager to give them to you because you already have limited inventory space, so you really can't use all of them. Or, well, you can, you just, uh, have to sacrifice other things, generally. Like, what's in my adventure pouch? One shield, two bottles. I have exactly enough room for one more shield, I think. Or, one more bottle. Well, either or. But also, no, I think I have room for two more things. I'm not sure. Anyway, the bottleneck there really isn't intended to be the number of bottles you have. <laughs> bottleneck? Um, I think the adventure pouch is more what they were thinking there. Oh, mushroom spores! What a relief! You brought the medicine! No! What am I gonna do? Go sell it? Here, take it. Does this have any other purpose in the game? Thank you! Now I can heal my bird's injury! Mm. Now my poor bird should be healthy again in no time. Like that was, it's got a fucking braid! It's got her braid! That's what that is! That's wonderful. I was beginning to think we were doomed. You've saved my life and my birds. We both owe you a big thanks. Gratitude crystals. Five gratitude crystals. These crystals are feelings of gratitude in crystallized form. Must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce this bunch of five crystals. You really don't have to show me the addition of the number. Here we go. See you back in town. Does Pero also give crystals? I, I I think he might. In which case, this is a super lucrative quest. That would be like 10 gratitude crystals and an empty bottle. Now they say that out loud, it's not very likely he will also give gratitude crystals, but I'm gonna check anyway. Anyway, I think that's the last quest we can do before departing for Elden, or at least it's the last one I can think of. So if there is anything else, we'll just do it um, after Elden, but um, Right now, I wanna go check on Paro and then give these gratitude crystals to Batro. Cause he'll give us, he'll give us a thing. He will. I meant to go to the plaza.
Here we are. Good. Oh, he's got a thing. Quincy, my sister made it home safely. Thank goodness, I was so worried about her. Thanks so much for your help, Quincy. All right, that's a very lucrative quest. It's like the game knew this is not um, a very interesting thing on its own. We gotta, we gotta make it, make it very worthwhile. Anyway, I gotta go to sleep somewhere. Can I get the? I want the bird. That's not a bird. It's a butterfly. What is wrong with me? I'm going here. I don't think I've been here before. Whoever's house this is. Maybe Oriel and Peros. Maybe that kid in the plaza. I don't know. No one's here. There are two beds. Oriel and Peros. <laughs> Sleep till night. So our next stop is uh, Metro. Yep, I was right. I'm a genius boy. Hey, Quincy, thanks for taking care of my sister like that. I won't forget what you did. And you? Wow. Oh, Quincy, thanks for all your help. My bird is back to full health. Thank you so much. You can sleep in our bed as a reward. It is nice that you don't have to, like, physically go back to your bed every night. Um, but, uh... That doesn't change the fact that this isn't a super well-realized, uh, nighttime world. Oh, Jesus. Especially because Betro takes a bit of a hike to get to. It's not bad, I mean, I'm about to get there, but... Like, imagine having to go back to the Night Academy on literally the other end of Skyloft, and then do this. No, not the bug net. Gee willikers. I have one, one slot left. I don't know what to use it on. Can I even buy anything to use it on? Oh, that's right. The seed satchels and the bomb bags take up slots in your adventure pouch. Ooh. Yeah, so you have to, like, sort of manually spec yourself, sort of. Um, I said sorta and sort of in the same sentence. Because, like, you can choose to either have, like, three bottles and some extra, some extra ammo for your slingshot, or one bottle and ammo for your slingshot and bombs, or, and, and you can, like, try different combos of that, which I guess is interesting. I guess it's more interesting than just having it all. I don't know. Oh, you've gathered a, quite a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent! Please take this as a token of this demon's deepest appreciation. I don't remember what voice I gave him. Got the medium wallet. The hefty capacity of this wallet allows you to store up to 500 rupees in it. Thank God. But also, I'm broke. It's not like I was bottlenecked too terribly. I'm still gonna need more gratitude crystals to become a human. Please, won't you aid a poor, unfortunate demon in need? Oh, gracious me, that is a prodigious quantity of gratitude crystals you've brought for me. This is such an appallingly insufficient reward that my cheeks burn hot with embarrassment. But please take this. A piece of heart? Wow, so that completes a heart container. I'm still going to need more gratitude crystals to become a human. Please, won't you aid a poor, unfortunate demon in need? Okay, it's not every five. But the... F Was it five and fifteen that got me those? Cause like, he gives you one for five. I hit the mic, like physically with my hands. He gives you one for five. Was it then one for 10 and then it's gonna be one for 20? And then so on, I don't know. Yeah, every five would be a bit excessive, I think. I think there's a total of 80 gratitude crystals in the game. I'm not totally sure. I have it written down. There are 15 individual ones. And then a, I didn't actually write how many total there were. Oh well. Yeah, you can find the some gratitude crystals just lying around at night. Hi. 
Don't speak to me. What did I miss? Hi, Pixel Kid. How you doing? Uh, I've done a bunch of side quests in Skyloft. I haven't actually departed for a dungeon yet. But I'm about to... Uh, well, not a dungeon, but a region. Oh, that's right. You're Kukil's dad. I forgot about that. Hi. I heard you're the one responsible for finding Kukil. Thank you so much. Just look at her. She puts her parents through all that worry and heartache, and now she's out like a light. Apparently, I'm gonna sleep next to her. But yeah, uh, we we did two side quests, which took an hour. <laughs> um, and uh, now we're gonna head out for the Elden Province. Off to the volcano. I do think I'm gonna take a very brief break real quick before heading out. Um, I wanna tweet the stream out again. And I gotta use the bathroom. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Give me like three minutes and I'll be back. Won't take a long time. See you in a bit! Kirby, 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 that's the name you should know. Kirby, 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 he's the star of the show. He's more than you think. He's got maximum pink. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby's the one. I think I got one of the lyrics wrong there. I don't know why the Kirby right back at you theme song jumped into my head, but that's what happened, and that's what you get. Anyway, welcome back. We're on our way to, way to the Elden Province. Um... 
where we are going to have a time falling into volcanoes. Ideally. Ideally. Um, so, uh, story-wise, we are still basically just following Zelda. That's what Impa told us to do, was just follow Zelda. She said, don't worry yourself about Zelda's whereabouts, but, but you gotta follow her. So that's what's happening. Um, where is this gonna land us? I don't totally remember. Uh, I, I remember a bunch of things about this area, but I don't remember like the specific sequence of events. Did you do the first dungeon? I did, yes. Um, that happened last stream. I didn't see that. This is Elden Volcano, she said. That's the place. Approximately 65% of the region is covered by lava. It is inhabited by a large number of creatures that thrive in the extreme heat and direct flame. Please exercise caution with flammable materials such as wood and fabric. Where does the fabric come in? In the event you catch on fire, I highly recommend you extinguish the flames by performing a forward roll or a spin attack. Is the fabric just like, you can catch fire? Is that the worry there? I know the wood is, she mentions that because like your wooden shield can burn, which is why I swapped it out for a metal one. That's why you're supposed to buy it. All right, welcome to Volcano Land. Please melt. Hi, Donnie, how you doing? Welcome. I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to. Volcano entry, yep. So we just touched down in, in the Elden region, like, two minutes ago. Um, so we haven't actually done anything. Uh, the stream so far has just been a bunch of side quests. There's a goddess cube. Isn't that wild? The, the, the most dramatic thing that happened is we, we found a demon who we now have to give gratitude crystals to which are star bits created by thankfulness. Um, and uh, he gave us a bigger wallet and a piece of heart for the crystals that I got from side quest. And I got an empty bottle from another side quest. But event wise, like nothing's happened in the story. It was all side stuff for the first hour. So if I remember correctly, this place is a bit more open than, than, um, Baron Woods was. Again, as it should be, because this is the second dungeon. Hey, buddies. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Y you mess with our turf and you're gonna... Pay? Whoa! You're not... Yo, Led, I don't think this is one of those red creeps. Y y yeah, I think you're right. No reason to scare the hair off us, though. Sorry about that, pal. These monsters showing up and messing with our turf has got me on edge. They show up here and I'm gonna knock the... They show up here and I'm gonna knock the red clean out of them. That's what I'm doing here. Yeah, me, lead. Yeah, whatever, mister. Too scared to dig in the dark. Anyway, if you're looking for treasure, you should stay clear of those red guys. I already forgot what voice I gave to this one. <laughs> Alright, those boys are magmas. They are, uh, one of the creatures native to this area, um, and I just jumped right into the lava. That does damage you, right? Which means that that's actually a threat right now? Did that do two hearts of damage, or did I already get hit by something? Anyway, all that for 20 rupees. I'm broke, I did need the money. Jesus Christ, Link! Quincy. I'm glad that we're gonna get some more money this time. Yeah, my thing is miscalibrated again. Great. I've never had these kinds of problems. Once again, I am an hour late. I swear I remember that these start at six. So... I, I, is availability an issue or okay? I'm just an idiot. 
because th th this is like for the first for the next like couple weeks this is really just like a trial run to see like how uh see if viewership changes um at the new time and if i should stick with six or if i should go back to seven i'm not totally sure hi you damaged me Wow, this place is gonna be a lot harder than, uh, than Farron. Since I can't just, like, heal with hearts. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Never seen you around here before. Well, hold it right there. Are you a friend of those red creeps? Red creeps? I haven't even seen any bacoblins. Or is that what you're talking about? Yeah, monsters carrying a big br- big br- 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 Boo-boo. Can't believe you haven't run into any of them. But if you don't know them, I guess you're not pals. So what is it then? You're here to pick bomb flowers? Bomb what now? Bomb flowers. You're joking, right? Those are them growing right over there. You pick one with A and the fuse lights. A few seconds later, boom. You don't want to stop and sniff this flower. Dangerous plants, believe me. But once you learn to use them, they're a powerful weapon. Us magmas are crazy about them. You can toss and roll them. Do they just not have legs? That's what I choose to believe. <laughs> um. Oh, they're in the ground. <laughs> I mean, they still could possibly not have legs. <laughs> Started playing a few missions in Halo and I wanted to unlock stuff. It's always been a yeah, conscious decision to show up later. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I know how to roll and throw stuff. I... Of course you do! You use the Wii Remote! What's the point in being able to deny the tutorial if you give me the tutorial anyway? This has happened before! I mean, hey, everyone knows that. Christ. Alright. Pretty sure there's something here that you have to roll the bomb. Like, just to show you, sometimes you will have to do bomb bowling. You will not be able to simply throw it to your to your target. For example, right here. Bomb bowling is fun. I like that that's a thing. Oh, is that, like, uh, actually freaking out because I threw a bomb at it? Yeah. I didn't drop a thing. There's a seat here, thank God. There's money here, thank god. <laughs> One of the only ways to heal, and since I wasn't- I didn't have enough money to buy any, uh, potions, yeah, the only way to heal, while I'm in this region, at least. Thousand ladybug, volcanic ladybug. They dip, get their deep red hue from the ore they eat. They're slow moving and tend to stay in one place, okay. Well, I have a couple of those, but Dandy, um, I blew up a few wa Is it me or is that like a visible crack? Like do you think I can blow up this wall? I can cool I don't know if I've ever actually done that. I don't think I have cool Is 20 rupees. <laughs> so I've never been missing out on a ton, but it's there. Okay, so this one is five rupees. It was like, you you don't have any money. We're, we're only giving you money. This one was an enemy. That one I assume is the way forward. So here. More money. Okay. I can move forward now. Um, Magma pal, do you have anything to say now? You, uh, no, you don't have a bomb bag, don't you? Without a bomb bag, you can't safely carry bomb flowers with you when you're out and about. You won't find a magma without one. What? Why are you staring at me like that? No, no way, no how. You are not getting my bag. You'll have to be satisfied with blowing stuff up right around here. 
Yeah, you're able to store these with B later, but I don't have a bag yet. In case all that dialogue didn't say that. The dialogue's doing my job for me. Also, that wasn't very good. I have to go heal again. In a normal playthrough, I'd be like, okay, I'll just, I'll, I'll get hearts later. But like, here I'm having to consciously be like, okay, there is a seat here. I can go heal. Beer be gonna go eat some, some somethings. Some somethings. What are those somethings? Okay, see you in a bit. This is the way, right? Yeah. And statue. There's another one. Oh, there's a goddess cube. I didn't take note of how many goddess cubes are in each area. I probably should have done that. Not tell, not like tell me where they are, but just how many that I can get in each segment of the game. Hey, buddy. Huh? Another stranger? And you're not one of those red creeps either. I swear this neighborhood's getting crummier every day. Fuck you. <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. Hey, I saw this funny dressed character going that hole over there. It might be the friend you're looking for. You wanna know what this kook was wearing? Uh, Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the getup was blackish. Other than that, I don't remember much. Okay, well that's uh, not Zelda, but that's the only lead we have. There is a, oh, hi. What do the goddess cubes do again? They uh, activate goddess chests up in the sky. So they're basically keys to later treasures. Give me the thing. Is it dead? Now it's dead. There we go. That wasn't quite worth it for one green rupee, but okay. Anyway, I saw a piece of heart. I'm not totally sure how to get it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna guess it's as simple as just like getting up to that ledge, which this seems to wrap around and do anyway. Okay. No more will spawn. Here we go. Cool. Oh, I have to get up on that now. Hey buddies, um, I'm not really worried about you right now. Listen. <laughs> Listen. I know I gotta deal with you, but right now I have more pressing matters. Like catching dung beetles. An Elden Roller. A big, they roll a big ball of something. Yeah, I've got a couple of those too. Cool. Now I think by just climbing around these, I can uh, get to that piece of heart. I don't think there's like a puzzle associated with it. Is there a seat in here? <laughs> They've just got occasional seats like in um... Oh gee willikers, okay. That wasn't too good. Good thing there's a seat right there, isn't it? There we go. Down that goes. And out on the ledge. Okay, cool. So that's piece of heart number five? Because I got my fourth one earlier and I was able to complete a heart container. I don't know why I'm surprised I've gotten this many this early. Cause like, that's not really a lot. No, I didn't mean to jump down. Whatever, I don't think it really matters. We are now going to do this. Oh, yeah! 
Ow, why do they make monkey noises? All right, I, I looking ass. Come on, I can aim this. Yeah, it took a bit, <laughs> but it did it. Apparently some somethings is a sandwich. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Apparently. You sound like you had other plans and those plans didn't didn't pan out. Where did I heal? Oh, I got the piece of heart. That does heal you, doesn't it? I appreciate that. I didn't have plans. Is this just gonna be money or? What's in there? Okay, money. I mean, I'm okay with this. I'm certainly not complaining. Hero mode also kind of makes money matter more because, uh. Because you gotta buy potions. Can you tell I've played this game before that I just did that puzzle without even acknowledging it? <laughs> there have been a couple of those. I feel like the commentary here isn't the- isn't like... It isn't, uh... A plus in terms of like actually being relevant to the game. So I'm just talking about a bunch of like... Other things unrelated to the puzzles. Anyway, can I hit that from this side? I don't think I can, actually. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Okay, I'm gonna go back up to that seat. <laughs> Glad there's one close by. That particularly helps in hero mode. I know, I, I, the reason they're there is because it expects you to be falling into the lava a bunch of times and actually need the, need the healing, but, uh... That is what's happening, but it matters a lot more here, is what I'm saying. Hero of Ages and local bowling champion, Link. Okay, uh, so clearly I can't bomb that from this angle. I'm pretty sure that rock wall up there is like a shortcut that I can open from the other side later. So that I don't have to cut through all the stuff I'm about to have to cut through. Hmm. Where am I off to? I've already walked through all this, haven't I? Was any of that actually necessary to move forward, or...? Because I think up there is where I came from, am I right? Volcano East. Yeah, that's the statue I got earlier. Damn it, I'm still hungry. Fuck. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm actually- I'm having a bit of trouble determining how I got over there. And why doing this bridge was necessary. Because I think I could already... Jump through here, couldn't I? Well, that's where Zelda is. We're gonna, we're gonna jump for it. Come on. Oh God. Land, land on the goddess cube, land on the goddess cube. Actually, well, land on this first. I assume I can land on all of them. Please don't make me have to go back up to the top to land on the proper things. Elden Ore. Thank you. Land on it, land on it. Good, okay. That's three goddess cubes now? Solid. That's one more than we got in Farron. Anything else I should land on? Okay. 
I guess not. I guess we should move forward. There doesn't seem to be much else here. Is this the way up? Yeah, this looks like it's gonna lead to like a big wind stream. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I don't need that. I landed where I wanted to. Damn, I'm still hungry. BRP again. <gasps> See you in a bit again. Hey, buddy. Yeah, those creeps just shimmied on in and took over our territory. Yo, what are you doing? Don't be sneaking up on me like that. Huh? You're looking for your friend? Can't help you there. Nobody's come through here, so. Maybe they went up the mountain from over that away? Ah, wish someone would chase these clowns out of here. Bing. Golly gee, it would be so nice. Varun213 has followed. Thank you, I appreciate it. Welcome. How you doing? Jesus fucking. Oh. Is the. Okay, the captain's dead. I'm not the best at the combat, but also it's a giant group of a group of enemies like all clustering around me. What am I gonna do other than spin attacks? Also, you're falling from the top. There's another ca captain. Clara captain. Hey, buddy! No, stop it! Stop it! Oh, I got hit! Whoa! Oh, I'm out of stamina! Shit! Wow, that's a lot more devastating than I expected. Yeah, losing stamina for a second, um, halved my health. And I'm in hero mode, so that sucks. Are you dead? No. Now you are. Okay, good. Whoa! You took out every last one of them. Whoa! That ornamental skull, yep. Slightly macabre fashion statement. Uh, how do I get up there? I have to fall from above. Okay, let's go talk to the magma. Are you through here? Also, what is jingling? Were there rupees? Or is that in the score? I think it might be. You're one tough customer. Thanks for all your help. I don't blame you for not knowing this, but us magmas always honor our debts. Let me give you something special to prove it. Any special requests? Rupees would be nice. I am sort of out. He's not gonna give me rupees, but... Huh? Rupees? Is that really what you're after? I mean, it's his reward and all, but really? Just rupees? Seems like a waste of a reward opportunity to me, and I don't even have any. Oh, wait. I know. I got something good instead. So, hey, uh, I don't exactly have any rupees on me, but I got something better. Didn't you say you were work looking for a friend? Well, I got something that can help you reach this friend. Take these instead. I like how it's teasing the bomb bag, and it gives you several things before the bomb bag. Well, I think this is the only thing before the bomb bag, but it's just mildly entertaining to me. Well, these, you should be able to get to the top of that ledge right behind me. Just try digging in that hole below the ledge. You're in for a surprise. It's not like I'm using these things, you know? And they're way better than rupees. I just hope your friend hasn't been captured by those red guys. Here's hoping everything's okay. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, there's nothing in here, right? That would help me with. There is. Is this going to loop around so I can get that chest? No, it's going to give me ore. Yeah, Elden ore is very easy to come by. Now... Oh, okay. No, I didn't think so. I was treating the sailcloth like the paraglider from Breath of the Wild. That's false and not how it works. It's like a parachute. You can only uh, fall in a straight line with it. It's to slow your fall and nothing more. Alrighty then. Let's move forward.
<laughs> More ore. There's gonna be a lot of stopping from here on out. What's your favorite Zelda game? Uh, Breath of the Wild, easily. Um, this is one that I really liked as a kid, though. Um, but I think in overall order of things, it would probably go Breath of the Wild, then Majora's Mask, then Wind Waker, then this. I think. Haven't played Twilight Princess. I think that's the one 3D Zelda I uh, have yet to play. Yeah, it is. But there's a lot of 2D ones I haven't gotten around to. How about you? What's your favorite? Is there a seat around here? We got all these houses. Please tell me there's a seat somewhere. Yes. God smiles upon me. No, sit. God smiles upon me this day. The goddess Din smiles upon me this day. Okay, um... Hmm. Okay. It's slide time, I uh... Don't know where these are gonna lead. I'm gonna go down the right one. Hold up, let me, let me get a good look. It's probably the middle one that drops me on uh, on this here. Twilight Princess is pretty good, but I don't really have a favorite. They're all really good. That's fair. That is very fair. Once we make bagels and they burnt a little bit and fucking everybody came out to find out what was burning and I just- Oh! oh, oh. I'm sorry. I hate that. Oh! Hello, Magma. Whoa! You scared me silly! You can't just start digging right above my head, you know? But I get where you're coming from. You never know what you're gonna find when you dig. That's what makes it impossible to stop. Rupees are the most common thing you'll dig up, but you might get some Elden Ore as well. Used to be plenty of hearts buried down here too, but weirdly enough, I haven't seen any recently. Go f- <laughs> Good. I appreciate that. I appreciate the little tiny dialogue touches that acknowledge that you're in hero mode. It's like, there's- There are no hearts. There's fucking nothing. Did you just dig up a tutorial? I did. I absolutely did. Anyhow, if you run across a hole and you got the time, dig, dig, dig. Yeah, okay. Right after he's like, you can't just go digging people up willy-nilly. Okay, is this the way forward? I don't want to go forward just yet. Yeah, I'm going to go back up to those uh, slides. This is like a whole ass maze dictated by the f fire breathing fish things. I don't know what they are. Okay, I think I need to go down the middle slide up ahead. Yep, okay, let's do it. Does this drop me on the chest? Yes, okay. This is kind of tight, okay. I kind of expected or, but... <laughs> Alright, it's just it's the journey, not the destination. Ugh. I wouldn't be complaining if I didn't already have a ton of Elden Ore from from the last playthrough. Because <laughs> that's how hero mode works. Um, okay, there's that. There's Tutorial Boy. Here's just a hole. Okay. with nothing, straight up nothing. Was that supposed to, was that scripted to be hearts? Hey, what if I blew myself up? Wouldn't that be funny and hilarious and funny? Yeah, okay, I'll wait for those. I don't need that grass anyway. 
I do need the bombs though. I, I do need the bombs to move forward. Zoom right here. There you go. Just crawl in after its corpse. That's not morbid. Okay, there's this thing. Oh, there's a bombable wall. Those are very well hidden, to be honest. I don't know if I ever found any. Like, are any of those required? Because I don't, like, have any vivid memories of finding those in, uh, in earlier playthroughs. All right. More ore, probably. Silver rupee. Sorry, I want money. I just got that big wallet and everything. Silver rupee, what, really? <laughs> All right, I mean, I'll t I'll fucking take it, but <laughs> All right. All right. Jesus, you genius boy. That's me. I, I was about to say not anymore because I was about to blow myself up, but I didn't. Cool. I summoned the rupee. That's what happened. Galaxy Brain prayed for, for money and got it. Come on. We're on a time limit. There we go. Again, why do they make monkey sounds? <laughs> this bothers me more than you know. I'm just making sure there's not any like secret rooms in any of those. Well, there was this one. This one does. It's marked on the map. Did I already go into this one? Yes, this is the one that had the, uh, the whole monkey, 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 monkey. Imagine monkeys. Oh, I didn't actually know there were still more of these. You can take a couple paths through this place. And as usual, I took all of them. All right, now we just fly up that. I don't think there's anything more to this. Except for an amber relic. Gave me the thing. Gave me the dialogue. I'm surprised. It's been an hour and 40 minutes and I haven't... Haven't gotten any of those. As you can tell from the number there, they're a little bit common. I don't know why they're so common, but they are. Oh, no more holes, cool. Well, there's that one, but that one's just gonna take me up, I believe. And this one. More rupees, more money. Always appreciated. Cool, my rupee count uh, recovered pretty quickly. Not surprised, just, just you know, happy. Just a happy boy. Cause I was broke before showing up in Elden. I had 18 rupees to my name. That's gonna fall off the cliff. No? Yes. The rupees are pushing each other. Great. Could have gotten nine there and I got three. I think, uh, oh. Whoa, now there's a green one. One of your people just came charging through here, dressed all in black, not a friend of yours. See that up ahead? That's what we call a drop dead, dead end. And this character danced right over it. Seriously, jumping over a gap like that? My jaw hit the dirt. <laughs> well, I can't do it. Absolutely certain I can't do it. So the things we know about this person are, um, oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's right. Hey! You, the goddess's chosen hero! Zelda is ahead. 
Hurry. Hello, strange woman in black. I, um, am okay. Thank you for the assist. And we open that rock wall. Cool. Dandy. T hey, Magma, you have anything to say about that? He is gone. He is gone. He's not here anymore. No, look, it's the person. I think that's not relevant. This straight up leads nowhere. Why are these vines here? Okay. She said, hurry. That means grow your extra legs and skedaddle. No, buddy, listen, I gotta... I gotta explore. I got places to vibe in. Oh God, this is cutting it close. This is cutting it very close. Wow. Does it expect me to be able to do that? Do you want me to have a bomb bag for that? Or should I have just gone in a straight line and then thrown it? Can I get it? That looks doable. I don't know if it intends this to be doable right now, but that timing is close. Oh, that explodes in midair. I can't get far enough. Anyway, let's save. Volcano Ascent. Ah. Nope. Jeez, this is, this is large. Okay, so I can go that way later, I imagine. Sometimes it just yields nothing. Isn't that dandy? All right, let's walk on through. Those are a lot scarier than they uh, are in previous playthroughs because those ca can catch you on fire and that's actually super threatening without any healing ability. Hey, foes. Hi, can I make it? I can make it. There are bacoblins throwing rocks from above. Look at him. Look at that boy. Hi, I... My slingshot really hasn't refilled in all this time. Last bullet. I got him. Did he get crushed by the boulder? <laughs> he did. There's something this way. <laughs> there they are. Thank you. 20 is the max right now, right? Someone planted those seeds. And I was like, no, I need them as ammunition for my slingshot. They were supposed to grow into a beautiful tree. Assholer. Assholer. Holler. Holler. This leads nowhere. Fi hasn't spoken in a long time, and because I said that, she's about to like yell at me 50 separate times because we're actually making progress. Um, wait, have I been here? Yeah, oh, that's the entry. Oh, okay, cool. That was a good shortcut then. Appreciate that immensely. We can now make it up there. 
Well, we could already do that, but now we'll do it. I have vague memories of a, like, search mission coming up soon, but I don't recall what specifically I'm searching for. Okay, I hear the captain. Oh, I know where the captain is. Hi! How you doing? How you doing up there? You, you really aren't spawning anyone right now. You're trying, but you're not. Get fucked. That's what you call a gamer move. Oh, is that a cave? Oh, that leads somewhere. I'll do that in a second. Hold on. Let's see what's in this Bacoblin camp first. Uh, bugs! Okay, I guess we'll go in there now. Oh, I hear the dog. Okay, let me pause for a second. I gotta go, I gotta go let the dog in because uh, it's fucking hot outside and she shouldn't be out there burning. Okay, I'll be back in like uh, two minutes most. I'll, I'll use the break to do something else too. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, I think that took a little longer than two minutes. I'm still chewing on protein bar. I'm sorry. Kind of one of the worst things to eat during the stream because uh, then your mouth gets all sticky and gross. That's right, this place.
Oh, the Rupors are gonna come up and Thomas is gonna be so sad he missed them. Hey, fella. Oh, hey there. Hello there. Thanks for stopping by. First time here, am I right? The name's Tubert. Nice to meet you. I run this little game I like to call Thrill Digger. Ooh. Do you like money? How about explosions? Well, dig up some rupees before you hit a bomb in a suspenseful game of Thrill Digger. Want to try it? Beginner. The beginner course has less spots to burrow into, but it's great for first... Ah! First timers! It's 30 rupees to play. Wanna give it a go? Yeah, sure. Hope you dig up lots of rupees. Just be careful what you're poking down in the dirt. Could go kaboom. So, uh, good luck! That is not the voice they intend for him. His, uh, his idle grunt noise was... Arrgh! All right. I vaguely remember how this works. Like you just you just go until until you're told to stop by a bomb exploding in your face, such as it's Minesweeper, but less complicated. Oh my God! Looks like you took a heavy loss. Yep. Well, I'm sorry, my friend. Here's a useful tip. Low-value rupees only have a few bad spots nearby, so you can relax a little. But the higher the value of the rupee, the more bad spots are nearby. Oh, oh, it's like, it's Minesweeper. You're just not told specific numbers. <laughs> Be careful of the spaces surrounding a valuable rupee. If your first burrow digs up a bomb, you'll just have to admit defeat and try again. Okay. Why not rest up until you get a few hearts back? Oh, did I actually? Oh yeah, I actually take damage from this. That makes sense. <clears throat> oh, take a- <coughs> Still bits of the protein bar. Will you take a load off and chat with me a bit? I did not know this existed. You can just talk to him. Oh yes, okay, okay. Is there anything you want to ask me? Uh. Who are you? Are you f Are you floating? He is just like vibing on his arms, isn't he? No, I'm not floating. I'm standing on my tail. Oh, I didn't notice that. I don't need to tell you that my paws are my best feature. But I like to give all my customers a chance to admire them. That's why I stand on my tail. It does wonders for sales. I don't like that. So what do you want to ask me next? I'm always getting DMs asking for feet pics. Too bright for you? <laughs> you mean my glasses? Looking dapper, eh? The round frames make me look even more fashionable. I don't know why the pause there, I'm sorry. I'm plenty proud of my fine mustache too. Cute and curly all the way. I groom it every day. Wait, that rhymed, didn't it? Oh my God, marketing! But it's only to be expected. I can't have my customers upset by my looks. Uh, who are you? Tubert. My name is Tubert. I run this game I like to call Thrill Digger. Yep, I'm kind of important around here. You could even call me Mr. Tubert. You know, if you want to. Thanks, kid. I want everyone to get their hands on plenty of rupees, so I made up this Thrill Digger thing. The sad thing is all my Magma friends think rupees are easy to find. They never come and play. So that's why I need you to step up and become not just a repeat customer, but my only customer. <laughs> yeah, I'll play one more game. Wait, thanks for asking all those great questions. Actually, here, let me tell you something. See the shining stone sticking out of the wall? That's pure rupee ore. Huh? If you sling something at it, it'll pop right out. Go on and give it a try. Rupee ore. Like, all this? Wait, can you shoot this for money? You can. Interesting. Is that a silver rupee just there? Just there? 
No, it's a rupor. That was too good to be true, wasn't it? Here's a silver rupee just vibing in the in the wall. Okay. They're colored specifically like the rupee it creates. So this is like the rock that rupees are made from. I hadn't even like considered. Wait, hold on. They have to carve these. <laughs> Makes sense. Just not a thing I ever thought about. Well, I'm out of slingshots. Oh my god, hi. Let me fuck make like Mansa Musa and render the entire economy useless with inflation. <laughs> hey you, you were gonna try your mitts at Hubert's Thrill Dare game, right? Psst, you want some top secret info? It's guaranteed to make you rich. R-I-C-H. Now since you'll be lying in your pockets with rupees, it's only fair I get a little piece of the pie. And I want my pie now, thank you. I've got a super discount price for just for you, buddy. 20 rupees, this is not worth it, but I wanna hear what he has to say. <laughs> that's the spirit. Now you've gotta promise me this stays between the two of us. You gotta keep your trap shut, got it? The color of the rupee you dig up will tell you how many bad holes are around you. Like if you dig up a green rupee, there are no bad holes around it. Oh, none at all. A blue rupee will have one or two bad holes, a red rupee will have three or four, and a silver rupee, there are silver rupees, has got five or six. If you're lucky enough to dig up a rare gold rupee, there will be seven or eight bad holes nearby. There are almost no good holes. What do you think? Makes planning where to dig a bit easier, don't it? But at the end of the day, it comes down to luck. Your luck. So I'm just gonna lose a lot of money here. Okay. But like, there are rupees abound here, so. All right, I think I'm gonna head off now since it's like 2 a.m. here in England, but I really enjoyed the stream, keep it up. Well, thank you for stopping by. Have a good night. That, th th that seems to be a surprisingly common occurrence is like, I get foreign viewers who are just up really late <laughs> more than I get, um, well not more, but most of my new viewers are like that sort of situation. Also, I didn't have to pay for that that uh, that tip. Tubert gave me the tip, and it's right here on the on the sign. Okay, I'm gonna play one more time on intermediate. Um, I assume you can't get a piece of heart here, right? Does Thrill Digger have any point other than making rupees? I'm gonna look it up. What time is it for you? It is uh, 7:53 for me. Just encroaching on eight. Thrill. Digger. I'm just making sure there's nothing more than rupees. Cause like if this were Majora's Mask, it would probably have like a oh you went you get a certain amount. If you get above a certain amount of rupees, then you get a piece of heart. Ooh. Okay, yeah, there's uh, there's nothing here other than rupees. Ooh. So I'm gonna, 50 rupees ago, I'm afraid. Last time I got 10, lost 20. <laughs> Bomb! Okay, this has one or two bad spots around it, it said. Rupor. Rupor counts as a bad spot. I just found that out. Okay, one or two around it. Okay, so that was one, two. Could be one of these. I'm gonna move to a different spot. Uh, five rupees. I lost 45 rupees there. Okay, I'm not doing that again. Change your grand rupee total, five. Looks like you took a heavy loss. Yup, well, I'm sorry, my friend. You should try again. No. Come back soon. Oy, oy. Come back soon. That's the voice they want. Not this, but this is what I gave them.
Golly gee, you sure should play my gambling game. I swear you'll make money off of it. There's no reason for that. I just wanted to. He wasn't threatening me. Also, I should have taken a seat and, and killed those two rupees. Those two rupees, those two hearts, but like, it's fine, whatever. This song reminds me of, uh... Mm. This reminds me of a song from Star Fox Adventures. Whenever you're given the scarab bag by a, um... What are they called? Oh, what are they called? The big mammoths. As opposed to small mammoths. They have a- What is their name? Oh, why don't I remember? Snowhorn? Snowhorn? It's not a horn. I don't- I don't remember. Hmm. Kind of annoyed that I don't remember that. TBH. Yeah, this just- this just sounds like a Star Fox Adventure song. Down he goes. Gee willikers. I don't have any, um... I don't have any slingshot seeds, so I'm just gonna hope that I can get up. Okay. Cool. Now, how about this? Oh, I just remembered what I what I have to go searching for. Yep. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I'm sure they buried it around here someplace, but I can't find it. Yo, what? This is the place, ain't it? So what is it they buried again? A key. K-E-Y-E. K-E-Y-E. Kai. K-E-Y key. They busted up the key to that door and hid the pieces all over the place. I'm telling you, one of the five pieces... <laughs> Keys. John Maynard Keynes. I'm telling you, one of the five pieces is buried right around here. Hey, that reminds me. That strange blonde girl in the weird clothes got taken away, too. Hey. By who? What happened? That's right. I bet they got something real valuable stashed in there. And that blonde girl they took is probably part of their master plan, too. I'm telling you, I can smell the riches from here. So what are you saying we do- So what are you saying we do once we find all the pieces to the key? <laughs> what do you think, Igneous? We sneak inside and take all the treasure we can carry. <sighs> hey. Why are we so worried about a key when we can just dig our way in? What? Um. Just saying. You ain't as dumb as you look! Thank you. That, I appreciate that method of doing a tutorial. The characters are just stupid and go over information they don't even need. Master Quincy, I require your confirmation on critical information obtained from that magma conversation. You don't have to tell me what I already know! I have to find five key pieces! The oddly garbed figure taken deeper into the region must be... We can guess it's Zelda! Blonde girl! My calculations agree, Master. There is a 90% probability the figure in question was indeed Zelda. Zoom in through my clothes. Additionally, I calculate there is a 95% probability that the key to this door is made of the same me material composition as this mechanism that bars it. Oh my god. I have detected objects of the same material in the surrounding area. Ascertaining the location of these objects will aid in our search for Zelda. I have registered them as dowsing targets. Cool, thanks. Appreciate it. Got it. I'm gonna look for keys now. Wait, where am I looking here? <laughs> well, that's either 
in this hole, or actually I was expecting this to turn into a gust that took me up there toward the key. Anyway, I'm gonna go for this first. Oh, hi. That's not quite what I was expecting. <laughs> that works. Is that the first time I've had an enemy pop out of those? Okay, first piece of the key. There are five pieces. They'll open that door. So we ba we just gotta zoom around. We just gotta zoom around. That's the game. Legend of Zelda, zoom and sword. <laughs> Giving your money to this loser is ill-advised. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you, Cambot. Pretty sure you just throw the bomb into that and then, yes. There you go. There you go. Goddess cube. Well, I appreciate that much more than the key. The key, the pieces of the key I'll find anyway. But this. Fourth goddess cube today, I think. Cube. Cube. Okay, um... Something vibrated me. Yeah, there's a key down there, that's what I thought. That's not quite what I wanted. Please roll down after the tower. Please. Good, okay. I didn't have to re-throw it. Anyway, all that for <laughs> digging a key out from under the tower. The Bacoblins, like, specifically concealed this by building their tower over it. What is this thing? Okay. No way to interact with it. All that for a drop of blood. <laughs> That's a hookshot target. Spoiler alert. There's a, there, there are claw shots in this game, not hookshot. Claw shots. Now that we're up here, we can blow into that. Yep. You can tell I've played this region a couple times. I pretty much know where all the keys are, I think. Whether I, whether I get them properly, that's a completely different story. Is this even the right spot you're supposed to throw from? There you go. Okay. I wonder what's in that hole. Hmm. Okay, there's that, but there's also... I'm not picking up anything else, so I'll just go for that first. This was a bad idea. I'm not going to fall into that properly. Yes, I am. Cool. I was sure I was just going to fly right by the hole. Third piece of the key. Go find the other two pieces. That way, apparently. I th think I have to go all the way down the thing again. But first, I'm going to keep searching up the... The, the top area. That's two. Cool. Okay, there's a captain somewhere. I should take care of that first. He's he's on top of the tower. I can already tell. Get you out of the way. He will call more. Fall. And have a gamer moment. Okay, um. Any seats? Please. Listen, these two hearts are important to me. No seats, okay. Silly me, but coblins don't sit. Biologically, but coblins don't have asses to sit upon. 
What is wrong with me? <laughs> okay. Imagine sitting on ironically. <laughs> This is the first door in a while. I'm appreciative. Hey! Lady! <laughs> Come open this! <laughs> Come extend this bridge, please. Virgin Sitter versus the Chad Laying Downer. <laughs> laying Downer. Did that hurt me? Did the fall hurt me? No? Okay, good. Oh. God, that disconnected the... Nunchuck, I guess. No? It's just not letting me move from side to side? Now it is. That's bizarre. Okay. Okay, um... I guess I just jump onto those vines. Is there anything secret here at all? No, I don't think so. What is this question mark? I guess that's the next region. Don't you love having, like, exactly no field of view here? I appreciate it. I'm here! Bridge time. Bridge time! This summer... I am Poggers the Hedgehog. Now with the seven Kappa Emeralds, I will rain bits upon the entire world! This is who I am! That was completely unprompted. I'm so sorry. Poggers the Hedgehog. Poggers the Hedgehog. You know. Kappa Emeralds. I tweeted about this yesterday. Please silence yourself. Yep, I, I know it's about to be too hot, you can tell. Master, I'm detecting extremely high temperatures from the area directly ahead. I calculate a 95% chance your clothes will immediately combust upon entrance. Please proceed with caution. You may be able to pass through safely if you run. I recommend confirming your direction by dowsing before making the attempt. Heh, <laughs> that's stupid. Wait, I don't even... This isn't even pointing me anywhere. Please roll! Jesus. Does Zelda point in one direction? Cause none of the keys are pointing. <laughs> okay, so I can't go that way. That's just a pool. I mean, I was gonna go every open way anyway. But this leads down a, another slide, okay. Ooh, fairy, 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 fairy. Yes, I caught it. It's the third fairy. Third time's the charm. First two fairies I saw, I was not able to put in my bottle. <laughs> but your hearts have decreased. Fuck you. Fuck you. To ensure you are able to find more hearts when you need them, they are now available as a target for your dowsing ability. I knew this happened in the main game, but... Does this serve any purpose in- Wait, you've elected to engage hero mode so hearts and heart flowers will not appear. However, if you choose to carry the heart medal, then hearts and hearts flowers do have a chance of appearing. Oh, interesting. But yeah, dowsing for these serves no purpose. It gives me the target and then immediately acknowledges, this is useless, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. Ow, Jesus, okay. Good thing I got that fairy, because I'm not doing so well all of a sudden. 
all of a sudden. Meh, meh, meh. Up here? Okay. Oh, no! That doesn't do damage, right? God. I've asked this every time, but... Consistently terrified each time. Okay, so you have to time this a specific way. There we go. I wonder what's in here. Is that a goddess cube? What is that? Do you see that little bit of pixels above the... That's not a goddess cube, is it? Am I gonna have to go back up all that? God, that timing is... Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. I need help. There were supposed to be hearts in these. Pretty sure I'm in a position where I uh, can't go back into the combustible area. Jesus Christ, run away, run away, run away. No, no point in trying to do that. Okay, now do what we were planning. Drop that. Gee willikers. That didn't work. I'm oh, sorry, I'm getting a bunch of texts all of a sudden. <laughs> there we go. That's what I wanted. So you need to do that to um, open this up so you can actually bomb this. That wasn't the right angle. You have to throw it at a harsh enough angle to, uh... Jeez. Oh, no, you have to roll it. There we go. Key, probably. <laughs> Wasn't even thinking about it. Would that be the fourth? The fifth key? Okay, we're about to be done. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what's in that hole. Is there anything up here? No, nothing. Okay, this is just like a, an incline specific for specifically for this puzzle. Why would you text Cam when he's streaming? Who would do this? A uh, pal who does not watch my streams. Hurry back to the summit, open the door to the temple so you can continue to search for Zelda who's been taken into the depths of the temple. That was a lot of expository information in that one little... <laughs> That's not usually where the expository information is. Um, I expected Phi to jump out and be like, You now have all five pieces of the key. You should go back to the temple and search for Zelda. Okay, but there's a couple things I can do before the temple, right? Like, I'm pretty sure there's a pretty big portion. Maybe not a big portion, but a pretty decent portion I haven't, um checked yet. This leads nowhere. Naturally. So how do I get into that? What is that? That's the other side of something. So I imagine that's the exit. Also, there are lots of uh, vines that seem to lead nowhere. That are just like off on the sides of things. Of course, that, I say that while climbing one that did lead somewhere. And that somewhere being 45 plus rupees. I appreciate that. Does it expect me to jump that? I don't think you can jump that. Okay, I'm curious about that, but I don't know if I can get there just yet. Oh, there's a hole there. Do I have a bomb? Here's one. Oh, 
I like Elden a lot more than I like Farron, at least on the first visit. Farron's kind of simplistic in its design. This one's much less so, I would say. Granted, they, they have kind of had the same format, where like, you rush in, meet the species that's here, and then you have to go on a big search using dowsing to open the way forward to the temple. Okay, what's the thing I'm thinking of? Hold on, there's, there's something I want to check. Oh my god, the beeping. So... Down here is where that hole is. Okay, is there like a... Cracked wall? Somewhere? Or... Hmm. I'll be honest, I have no idea how to get to that. That door over on this other side. Huh. Interesting. Okay. We'll keep moving forward. That'll either become clear or I, or, or I access it, like, next visit. Goddess cube? Yeah, that might be a goddess cube. I don't know, but... Or are you saying Goddess Cube might open that way? Goddess Cube just affects the treasure chest. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a Goddess Cube in there, though. Also, no, wait, that's just the way forward. I was like, there's that big set of vines I didn't go up. Thought the thing you were checking was getting that goddess cube. That's why I came- That- yeah, that is why I came up here in the first place, isn't it? Completely forgot about that. That goddess cube that I, uh, am not sure if I'll be able to get because I don't think I'm gonna be able to heal by the time I get up to the slide again. Also, this is taking such a long time. There's probably a shortcut that I- completely bypassed by accident. I went up here. Did I? Is that a blessed butterfly? I thought those were native to Skyloft. No, there are specific spots that they can appear elsewhere. Have I been there? This lack of health is worrying me. Might have to use the fairy. To make it through the... Through the Bernie spot. The Bernie spot, the Bernie spot, the Bernie spot. Oh. That didn't work. <laughs> Rip. Bernie spot. Okay. That... Oh, that just loops around. Okay, so there's only one correct path here. There's no there's no bonus. If you go to the left, you just go to that pit. If you go to the middle, you just loop around and fall into the pit. The right spot is the only real one. Ooh, I touched the wall. Well, thank God I have the fairy. Otherwise, I don't remember the last time I saved. That would suck having to go back to that. Anyway, let's... See, I'm not even sure if there's a goddess cube here. I just think I saw one. Was it the butterflies I was seeing? 45 rupees. There is. Okay, thank God. <laughs> it's about to be a little salty.
Give me more money. Okay, that was 50 rupees right there. I'm almost to a full... Full, uh, wallet. Again. Well, now I gotta loop around all the way again. We're right back in that spot where I was like, How do you get over there? Right here. No ideas, honestly. <laughs> Jump for it! Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna assume I can get to that later. Yeah, okay. Oh, the reason it took me so long to get back is because instead of taking the airstream here, I took that short shortcut back to one of the starting areas where it would have been way faster to just do this. Oh well. <laughs> What's done is done. Is this the place? Well, there's a goddess cube. <laughs> All right. There's all this, and then there's... There's all these little bits where you can't actually go into the caves. Something's gonna change to make those accessible. I said all these little bits, there were two. Okay, we're at the two and a half hour mark. I honestly don't want to start the dungeon yet. I think we'll do that next time. That's not to say I'm ending the stream. I think I'm gonna go back to Skyloft and I'm gonna spend all the money I just got on uh, potions for one. Uh, it's probably gonna be helpful to be able to heal in the dungeon. Um, but also, there's, uh, there's some stuff in, in, I, I can buy a seed satchel, I think. Link's gonna walk right in, and I'm gonna walk right, right out. There's just stuff I wanna buy. That's what it is. Listen, buddy, you're, uh, you're epic, but the epicness is kinda gonna wear off. Yeah, I'm feeling a little sleepy. Understandable. Oh, Fi's immediately gonna say something, and I'm gonna leave the temple. Yes, yeah, the Earth Temple. Listen, I got stuff to do, and it's not this. Thank God, Fi. I'm out. Bye. Okay, to the sky. Just gonna buy things. That's that's what it's gonna be. And the next time we'll we'll take a I guess a bit of a different format format from this and the last one because uh, we'll be starting on a dungeon and then doing God knows how much after it. I have no idea. I assume no new side quests have suddenly opened up. Doing the dungeon is probably the trigger for any future things. Okay, bizarre! I did that a little early. Not that it matters. I think if you wait, you just- it just pulls it out automatically. I think. Hey fellas. Hey fellas. Hey fellas. Give me a seed satchel. That's a small seed satchel. With this in your pouch, you can carry 10 additional seeds. Recommended for slingshot enthusiasts. It costs 100 rupees. Okay. So the thing about the, the inventory upgrades here is that, wait. Okay, I've taken the liberty of placing the purchases in the pouch, okay. The, the thing about the inventory upgrades here is that, like, the small seed satchel takes up an adventure pouch slot. Um, which is 
wild. Um, so you can remove this uh, to make room for something else. And uh, hmm, do I have enough to buy another adventure pouch slot? I think that was like 500 rupees. Beetle has an adventure pouch slot. Yeah, heart potion, I'm gonna buy two of these. And then I'm gonna head up to Beetle and see if I can buy anything at his shop. Still no reason to upgrade the potions, cause like, I'm at eight hearts. We are still in the position where these are a full heal. But by the end of the dungeon, that won't be the case. Okay. I'm only gonna fill one of those. I, I have three bottles, but I'm only gonna fill one of them. I'm going to put the other one in storage. Because I don't really think I need it. Um, this stays here. Um, honestly, in terms of like utility, like what I actually need, it would probably make more sense to um, to store the seed satchel. But you know, two potions full of uh, two two bottles full of potion are probably gonna be all I need in the way of healing, if even that. Okay, beetle, where? Hi. Let me in! Let me in! Grab the thing. Part of me is hoping I don't have enough money to buy any of the things that I want from here because, uh, what he does if you don't buy anything is really funny. Oh, there's a wallet. That's an extra wallet. Oh, I think you can- wait. No, I didn't buy this earlier. Did I? I did! Oh! That's the thing! The extra wallet is independent from the, uh... From the typical wallet upgrades. That's it! Okay, the blue wallet we just got is the medium wallet, but the plus 300 is whatever extras you have bought on top of that. So I can carry 800 rupees, not 500. I completely forgot I bought the extra wallet. So you can buy, I guess, as many of these as you want, up to some limit, I'm sure. Uh, and that's different from, um, like, getting a large wallet. So I have the medium wallet, which holds 500, plus the 300 that having this got me. Okay. So I can hold 800 rupees, not 500. I was thinking 500 this whole time. This is a bug metal. Uh, this will show you on your map where bugs can be found. Interesting. A thousand rupees? No, not now. Maybe later. Maybe later. Okay, the adventure pouch is why I'm here. But I think this is 500. No, it's 300. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> cool, and in that case, I can go grab a, grab an extra uh, bottle. I can go take that from the item check. Cool. Um, fun fact, his bed is right here and you can sleep in it. We will... I will show that later. Now is not the time. That opens up this whole can of worms and I think is related to a quest. But it exists. You can sleep in his bed till, uh... Till the night. Reminder that, uh, the nighttime world in this game is only accessible by sleeping in a bed until night, so, um, he will... take you to his nighttime world. But we'll see that later. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna grab my bottle back. I now have uh, one more pouch than I thought I would have. Alright. In that case, um... It's pretty much time to end. It's pretty much time to end, I think. Um, I don't need to, I don't need to show you me flying back to Elden, I imagine. So I think 
I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Um, thank you nerds for joining me. Next time on Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword on Thursday, um, we will be uh, beginning the Earth Temple in the Elden Province, finishing up business there, and then I imagine we're gonna have some time left over and we'll do some side stuff in uh, Skyloft. But yeah, on that note, bye. See you Thursday, where we'll do important things that aren't swapping bottles out in the, in storage. Yep, bye pals.